Let's get back to the markets. We've got some red ink. It's not catastrophic, but we're down today. David Barnson joins us. David, um, inflation, 7.9% over the past year, highest in 40 years. I think the, pe the Fed is in a pickle. What say you? Well, I think that the Fed has already telegraphed exactly what they're going to do. I think very little of this inflation is uh, under the Fed's purview. They let it uh, stay too long. Uh, the zero bound rate is very problematic, but not just because of the excess liquidity. It distorts asset prices. It's unhealthy in our economy. Okay. We always like to hear from you about dividend plays. And you brought three as usual. And the first one is the Simon Property Group. I know they're mall operators, the biggest in the nation, I think. What's so good about them? Well, essentially, I picked three today, Stuart, that are actually down a little bit because I've been heavy in this energy theme for so long. Mm -hmm. And everyone's looking at Chevron, Exxon, and UMI that are way up. And I'm saying, okay, let's look at some really good dividend growers that are down through some of this market volatility. Simon Property is down, and I'd love to know what mall tenants are not going to pay their rent because of Ukraine. It's totally silly. You're getting over a 5% dividend yield, Whoa. and they're going to be growing the dividend in the next quarter as well. We love Simon Property. Okay, 3M. Uh, 3M is another one that is quite a bit down. There are plenty of consumer staples are down, but 3M on a valuation basis, sitting here at 13 times earnings, very cheap, over a 4% dividend, and they've grown their dividend more years in a row than any company in America. I was going to bring one more, but I'm flat out of time, David. I'm sorry about that, but 4 and 5% dividend yields are very attractive. I like it. Mr. Barnson, thanks for being here. See you later.